smartphone. Now on an Android, it's pretty much the same process. Now specifically, I'm doing this on my Samsung Galaxy, but if you have a OnePlus or whatever, it's pretty much the same process. What you wanna do is you want to go ahead and make your way over to your settings app. And again, we're setting up our notifications and making sure the notifications work on your Instagram account, just in case I'm posting this on my third channel. So what you wanna do here is you want to go ahead and scroll down until you get into your notifications panel. So typically they're right here. I keep scrolling down to the bottom for every single one. So you wanna go ahead and click on notifications. Now once you're here and you want to go ahead and find the specific app that you want to go ahead and enable the notifications. Now in this case, we want to go ahead and do Instagram, but for some reason, I, yeah, I guess I don't even have Instagram on here. I should, okay, there we go. So as you can see, we have Instagram enabled here. So that's pretty much the main thing. As long as you have Instagram enabled in your notifications panel, then you should be good. So all you have to do at this point is make your way over to your Instagram app. As you can see, I have Instagram right here. You just have to literally just open up the app just like this. You want to go on your own page just like this. So you want to click on your own profile right here. And once you're on your own little page, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and click on the three lines up here, just like how we did it on our previous phone, which was the iPhone. And then once you're here, you want to go ahead and click on settings. As you can see, I'm on a pretty outdated version of Instagram, but it doesn't really matter. I, this is also a business account, so it's a little bit different. But you want to find the notifications panel. There's a notification setting. You may have to scroll through around with it if Instagram changes it again in the future. And once you're here, you want to go and click on notifications. Now, this is going to be the same for everyone. What you want to do is you want to go through every single one of these little tiles. So you want to go through here. You want to make sure these are exactly enabled to however you want to. So it's going to take a minute. And if you turn off all your notifications, you're going to have to turn them back on to exactly how you want them on to be. So you want to go here if you want the notifications from everyone. You'll click from everyone. If you want them from the people you follow or whatever, you want to go and click from the people I follow. And you just have to go through each one of these things, the messages included, and pretty much turn these all on. You know, it may take a second or two for you to do it. But once you're done, the notifications should theoretically be working on all these devices. So that's really pretty much it. That's how to enable the notifications on both iOS and Android for Instagram. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that means so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count, so it means so much if you guys get hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my other channels. More importantly than everything, also every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out to them.